do want to go back to that breaking news in New Haven. A concrete pour at a residential building under construction has turned into an emergency rescue effort. It happened on Lafayette Street this afternoon when the second floor of the building collapsed, trapping eight workers. Pinpoint News Tracker shows us exactly where this is happening. We do have team coverage for you this afternoon, and we want to kick things off with Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Audrey Russo. And Audrey, we know this rescue effort was really a race against time. Aaron, it was that concrete pour happening two stories up and New Haven fire officials say they had to work quickly to rescue several trapped people before the concrete hardened and I'll step out of the way so you guys can see it's still very much an active situation out here on Lafayette Street. Now these crews were working to beat the clock in the blistering heat. New Haven fire officials say 36 people were on the site at the time of the collapse. This is a residential building that's under construction. Three 911 calls came in just after 12. 1230. Fire officials say that the concrete pour was happening again two stories up when things just collapsed. This was just a, a standard a cement pour that uh, got away from them in, into an area. I'll, I'll wait for the final investigation, but from the debris that we were able to see, we had uh, the benefit of a drone, we were able to look at the debris and uh, it looks as if all of that pool to one side while they were pushing and all of them in that area went in. Of the 36 people on the job site, again, eight were hurt. Now, all of them were construction workers. We'll have more on their condition coming up in just a bit. But the building is owned by RMS companies. We've left several messages with them. But obviously, in a situation like this, there is a long investigation that needs to happen with OSHA. Now, New Haven City officials tell us that they're working to make sure all the permits were up to snuff on this job site. Uh, but again, we've got multiple people who had to be rescued from this trap from this building collapse. Several people were trapped and obviously uh, just a very serious situation out here in New Haven. And for those who live or work around the area, New Haven fire officials expect that the area will be closed off for some time. Live in New Haven, Audrey Russo for Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Audrey.